I'm 69 now, and I was there at the very beginning. So I decided to get it all down on paper. I ended up writing a thoroughly researched book about how the Hare Krishna movement began. The book details the origin and early days of the movement. This is me at 22, at 12. New York City's a weird place for a religion to begin. Okay, so the Mormon religion started in New York, but that was New York State in the countryside. My story starts out on Manhattan's Bowery. The founder started Hare Krishna while he was in his 70s. In the early days, especially during the San Francisco Summer of Love, temples started in storefronts. Festivals and feasts involved hippies. Beatnik poet Allen Ginsberg chanted, Hollywood thought we were funny. Well, I'm not saying that I want to join or anything, but, but I know you guys believe in reincarnation, you know, so it interests me. Take our literature, uh -huh. read it over, and think about it. Who are you kidding? You're going to be a Krishna? You're going to shave your head and put on robes and dance around at airports? And in London, the Beatles got involved. It wasn't always smooth sailing. Often it was a hard struggle. We had permission for public worship. We had permission for the festivals. But the council and the government have taken it away. And Hare Krishnas had to fight back. My book takes you from June 1966, the very beginning until December 1969. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. A very short final section brings you up to the present. I called my book Miracle because I thought it was a miracle that Krishna consciousness could get even a toehold in an extremely materialistic world. Oh, by the way, that's me long ago holding the flower garland and my guru, the founder, with eyes closed. <laughs>